Hello, my name is Dr. Aaron Dishnow, and I'm the inventor of Walk the Web 3D Browsing. And in this next tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about aligning 3D building blocks. Now, this is beyond the normal create a box, put it here, and make it this big, and put another one next to it. Uh, one of the problems that we have is when two of the surfaces of the boxes or shapes of whatever you're working with, when they come into alignment where the plane of a side of a face of an object becomes the exact same face of another object. Then what happens is, like we have on the corner of this building, when you move and walk back and forth, notice that the image rotates between not knowing which surface to show for that exact plane of the surface. So what we get is sometimes it's showing the image on the right, like right now. Sometimes it's the image on the left, which is the end of the wall, right, like right now or sometimes you kind of get a little cross where it's showing both of them are flickering back and forth. So to correct that issue, what we do is, first of all, what's happening, let me give you the top view of the image here. Now in the, in the tutorial itself, the written part, you'll see that there's an image I created that has one wall, second wall, and notice that when they overlap, the area in red on your screen shows that the common uh, wall and the surface of the wall is in common between the two walls on those two sides and also on the top square. So in our drawing over here, uh, one of the things I can do also is um, in the editor settings on your admin menu, we have one where you can turn off or on gravity. So if I turn off gravity, it allows me to actually point myself into the sky and walk upward. And now to notice from the top of the wall, see if I can get it in the image here. Oops, I went too far forward. Now, notice that the top corner is actually doing the exact same thing. It's actually flickering because both walls are the same height and they're uh, set at the same um, Y value positioning. So the very top of the wall surface, they overlap and we get that same flickering up there. So now to correct this issue, there's two theories in how to fix it. The first thing is, if we take a wall, for example, this wall on the left, and I edit it by right-clicking it. Now, in the positioning of the wall, if I move the wall even a couple points, let's go the other direction here, notice that it backs itself off the corner. Now we only see the wall on the right. We will never, no matter how we move around, it will not show the wall on the left. So it's basically about moving the positioning of the wall so that it doesn't actually have the exact same surface. Now another thing to note is even though we corrected that problem by moving it a little, if I move farther and farther back from the object, what happens in the rendering image, or in engine, sorry, when you, the rendering in engine takes the measurements and they start to round them at farther distances so it does its mathematical computations of where to place those planes and as they get farther away they get rounded off and they end up being the same surface again at a distance so what I've noticed just in working with these different sites if I move it at least 0 0.05 of a decimal place away from the other wall it won't do that even at the farthest distances that you can see it in your 3d browsing so that's one way you can fix these things, moving the position. Another way, um, I can save that box and notice that on this right hand side, it'll never do it. Now, of course, the left side of that same corner is still doing it. So now I take the box on the right and I have to move that one away from this corner also. But now by doing that, we fix this corner save that box and so now neither one of these corners are doing it on their face surfaces but on the far other end of the corner this box now sticks out past the other one so between the different sides what is ends up happening is you end up having to move every single box and then of course to fix the top and bottom you have to take one of the two boxes and stagger it down a little bit and the other box is up a little higher and you end up shifting them all over the place. Now the second way I mentioned at the beginning is that instead of changing the position of all the different boxes 
I kind of like using the position as that's the firm, where this box is, and everything else, and then changing the length of the box. Because by changing the length of the box, we can keep the position where it was, and now we're actually fixing both ends of it at the same time. We're taking this end and this end, shrinking it just a touch, and we end up making it where that it fixes, where it doesn't poke through or share the same surface on both ends at the same time. So instead of having it 99, I'll go back 0 0.05 on both sides, or basically 0 0.90 gives me 0.1, if you do the math. So one tenth uh, back for the whole box together. And now when I save that and with its position in its normal position, we now correct both ends of the box at the exact same time. So I'll do it on this one too. We'll change that to 0 0.05. Let's say we'll change that back to its normal position. And then we will change the box to be just a little shorter. And the other part, oh yeah, the other part is since I changed the length of it that direction, one of the two boxes that join, so either the front and the back of your building or the left and right of your building, will also need to change the height. So I'm going to back that down to point nine so that we lose at point zero five on both ends. I know I'm doing math. Tried not to do that since high school. Okay, save that box. And now what we have is we have a corner where the top of the box and the sides and everything, nothing is going to ever overlap. See notice that the left side is always over the top of the right side. The face, the corner, nothing's going to flicker. Everything's very steady now. So then all we have to do is we have two more boxes. If I take the one over on the right side and adjust the length of the box to subtract one tenth, save that box. And then I go around to the back side of the box here, or the back side of the building, and we change this one, subtracting a tenth, and also a tenth from the height. And now, no more flicker no matter which side of the building you come up on. Now just to review that, let me go through the drawings that we had. So we started with this drawing where the two surfaces are overlapping. So now if you scroll down the page, it demonstrates the image. Now what we're actually doing by moving or shrinking the boxes is notice in this drawing particular here. What we've created is a small gap in the very corner. Now when you have a 0 0.05 gap, it's not noticeable to the naked eye in these renderings, especially when you're even just a fraction off of the corner. But it does help because it doesn't allow it to edit or to flicker. And also, notice that the surface of the bottom wall and the surface of the left wall don't share any surfaces that are in common to the outside of the object. Now that was by changing the position, and the same thing happens when you change the the length of the walls, we actually shortened it and fixed two corners at the same time for that wall. So then we do the other walls and we've shrunken them all. Now we have this little gap that's a little square of 0 0.05 that's in the actual corner of the building. And if you notice, just like I said, when you browse the building and we get really close up here, you can't see very easily that 0.5 gap, especially with any distance at all brought to it. So that concludes how to correct the flickering and overlapping issue that you'll see from time to time. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is the next tutorial is about how to cut out one 3D shape out of another 3D shape. And this really makes, makes it where you can create any type of uh, shape or object that you need for your 3D buildings and 3D things. Thank you very much. If you'd like to see this or any other tutorials, please go to www.walktheweb.com. Thank, Thank you. you.